Okay, let's do one more example. Uh, remember this particular example we did in class? Um, let's go ahead and now find a moment of inertia of um, this particular shape. And um, I want to find the moment of inertia rotating about, in this case, x axis again. So my moment of inertia is going to equal to the moment of inertia of this rectangle plus moment of inertia of the triangle plus the moment of inertia of this and the subtract by moment of inertia of the circle. Right? Okay? And the uh, x axis is this one. Okay? So let's do moment of inertia of the rectangle first. And uh, this is where you can look at the PowerPoint slide or on the you know, textbook to look for the on the table or you know on the chart that I gave you. Okay. So and you don't need to worry about memorizing it because I will give you this on the final. Moment of inertia for the rectangle we're rotating about the x-axis is going to be one third of b h cubed. And I'm not going to punch in calculators for you. I kind of want you to go through the example yourself. So in this case, our base is equal to 120 millimeter, and my height of the rectangle is equal to 18 millimeter. So we have a number. And then my own measure of the rectangle of the triangle is 112 3 So Base is 120 in this case, my age is 60. I have to remember. Those are easy enough. The third one is a little bit tricky. The moment of inertia of this piece, the semicircle. Uh, if you look on the chart, the rotation is either about the centroid or about the axis of the rotation, the axis here. So this one we need x the parallel axis theorem. So we need the moment of inertia about the centroid plus pi. Sorry, not pi. Area a g squared. Okay. And um, again, g is the distance between centroid and axis of rotation. In this case. X. Okay. Um, you know I gave that to you. That's if I remember correctly, R to the fourth. My area D is pi R squared over two times my distance D squared. Okay. My radius is. 60 millimeter, uh, actually 40 millimeter, right? Uh, no, sorry, 60. I'm looking at the semicircle number. Circle. Plus pi 60 square. Okay? And the distance D, um, I'm going to sketch this really quickly over here. Here's my axis of rotation right here. My semicircle sits right here, right? The centroid is like that. You know this distance is 4r over 3 pi. So this entire distance should equal to 4r over 3 pi plus the height of the triangle, 80, correct? So 4 times 60, 3 pi. Yes, I want to caution you. This is the key part that everybody misses on the test, especially on the final. So pay attention to that. Okay? And that's a distance and that must be square. And you can then find a number here. And the last but not least, same thing for the circle. Um, I need to look that up. I believe we have the moment of inertia 
of the circle rotating about a centroid, and that's in the book. So I'm looking at the book, trying to figure out what that is. And that's a few, one minute. And uh, in case you wonder, as you're doing the homework, what page number is that table? Um, is in chapter nine, and the moment of inertia table. If I can find it in the book. 483 and uh, it's one quarter pi r squared. Same thing, pi bar x x x of the circle plus pi, sorry not pi b, you can say a b square. The area of the circle is pi r square. And my distance d is, okay, let's go ahead and sketch this one. Here's my circle at, right? This is the centroid of the circle, which is right in the middle. This is the distance d from the centroid to access the rotation. And we know, looking at the picture, that's 80 millimeters. So that's really easy. Okay. So, one quarter, pi. This circle's our radius is 40 squared, so actually 40 to the fourth plus pi 40 square and my distance d is 80 square. Okay. So if we keep w x y my final answer is the variables whatever answers that you get. Okay?